I have here a long rope, and on one end it's attached to the wall. And I'm going to stretch it out, and many of you have probably done this with a rope or maybe a garden hose. And if I stretch it and give it a flick with my wrist, I can make a wave that moves down the rope. So let's do that. Now you see a curious thing. When the wave gets to the other end, it in fact reflects and comes back. You notice that? And in fact, when it hits my hand, it reflects again, and the wave goes back and forth along the rope. Now you've probably all done that, and that's familiar to you, but you may not have looked carefully at what happens to the wave when the rope is, has very little tension in it, as it does now. Uh, you see the wave moves relatively slowly. It takes a long time to get down and come back, but if I pull hard on the rope, give a lot of tension, the wave moves much faster. And in fact, the speed of the wave is proportional to the square root of the tension in the rope. So uh, uh, that's a familiar idea and probably is of no great surprise to you. But I want to show you another demonstration that involves uh, uh, waves traveling on a rope. You see over here we have two ropes. The upper rope is a quarter inch rope, very small, and the lower rope is a half inch rope, much bigger. And these ropes are under exactly the same tension. How do I know that to be the case? Because down at this end, there's a pulley, and the rope goes around the pulley. So uh, they're being pulled with the same tension. But one rope is a light rope, and the other is a heavy rope. Now, who thinks the wave will travel faster on the light rope on the top? Who thinks it will travel faster on the heavy rope on the bottom? A few people. So most people think the, heavy ro the light rope will have the greater wave speed. Now, to make a wave on the rope, I have to somehow start the wave at the same time on the two ropes. The way I'm going to do that is to take a meter stick, and I'm going to hit the two ropes at the same instant. Now, you notice Mr. Lovell has put a couple of index cards on the rope down at the other end. There's a red one on the top and a blue one on the bottom. And uh, what you're going to see is as the, as the wave moves down there, those cards are going to jump off the rope. And the card that jumps off first, obviously, is on the rope that has the greatest speed. So uh, don't watch me. Watch the cards down there, and I'll tell you when I'm going to hit it. One, on three, two, three.